you can you can do more than you can do before okay so in this time so in this time i also created my own uh, institution uh, in this institution there uh, i also try to teach uh, uh, some people in my country and also some of the other country who don't have the any programming language or anything they are about know anything about the google earth engine platform they are also join with my course and i also get the some free resources in my youtube channel so they are also get the some uh, tutorial video and they are also get the lifetime support from me so, so suppose as a beginner when they are want to work with the google earth engine platform they face lot of problem but this problem is the very cool and when i can get this code and i can I easily understand where the problem so i also put, uh, get all of the time supported so that's why they are also learning easily with me and uh, they are also get use the google earth engine platform so in this time in my country bangladesh there are a the lot of people will be join with the google earth engine platform in this time because they are also easy way to learn from me in google earth engine platform because as a beginner so in bangladesh traditionally way uh, when i want to go to the my our research paper in bangladesh uh, uh, scientists they are all of time they are using the arcmap software or qs software or other, other traditional software but they are not using the google earth engine platform okay so i i will i try to start the reach my knowledge which i want to gain in the pandemic situation in corona so i will try to reach this knowledge with other person who don't have no any programming language about the google earth engine platform or javascript or python so as a beginners who want to join my course they are also uh, learn all of the things very quickly and efficiently and they are, can apply this uh, google earth engine platform on their research work oh wonderful wonderful so tell me um you you, you mentioned that a lot of the people that come to your courses yeah. um, tell me what it would do and why that would be important for you so basically and i also did know about the mass know about the no coding with the google earth engine platform so i am totally new about this so i don't know much about the no coding so with the google earth engine so i think when they are use the google earth engine without no coding then the person also will be more interested okay so mainly people are afraid when they are using the google earth engine platform the first time they thought that the oh this is the google earth engine platform when you want to use the google earth engine platform then we need to use here the programming language people are must afraid in the programming language but when they are uh, said that you 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 join the you use the google earth engine platform without the programming knowledge then they are easily using the google earth engine platform and more people will be uh, interactive with the google earth engine platform for your research for their research work so i think this is the best way for the non programming knowledge and they are also more interested to join using the google earth engine platform so, so there's quite a big of fear of um of coding is in there yeah people fear coding yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i i hear you <laughs> i'm not a coder <laughs> i know <laughs> could i ask um when you're um yeah when 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 your when your students on your course you know have that that fear around coding are you able to overcome that for those students you know so that they so that they are able to use earth okay. engine Okay, so when I want to use the Google Earth Engine platform, first of all, I will try to teach them the programming language. Okay, and right. and I want to try to teach them as a beginners. Suppose all of the details for the beginners who don't have the any programming language or anything, then then I when they learn the programming language, then I will go to them the Google Earth Engine platform. So mainly Google Earth Engine program supported the two programming language, JavaScript and Python. So I think JavaScript is the more easy way for learning the Google Earth Engine platform. So that's why, I, first of all, I will try to teach them JavaScript programming language as a beginner, so don't have anything. Yeah. So the students, you teach the students JavaScript first, yeah, and then when they feel confident in that, you know, you, you move on to teaching them Earth Engine. Is that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So how, I mean, if you if, imagine you had access to a software that helps um, users get excited about um, Google Earth Engine. Um, yeah, no, th that's okay. That's not a very good question. So um, yeah, so talk me, talk me through your reaction when you heard about us, when you heard about Earthblocks. Okay, so basically in this time, there is the no coding. So that, that I think this is the very easy way for use the Google Earth Engine platform and uh, 
there are a lot of people will be get the ad, uh, get the opportunity to using the Google Earth Engine platform. Yes. Okay. So it would open up, and um, 